All right then gang, so in the last lesson, we created this title component, a reusable component. We put that inside the lib folder and then we use that in both pages, the home page and the about page right here. Now this is fine, but what if we had 10, 20, 30, 40, or even more pages? Then what we'd have to do is we'd have to import the title component on each of those pages and we'd have to use that component as well. Now this is fine, but it might get a bit tiresome and it's a little bit unnecessary to be honest. And also, if you changed where the title was on every page, you'd have to change every individual page component. That's a lot of work. So instead, what we can do to combat this is create what's known as a layout component. And a layout component wraps our page components and they contain different elements or different parts of a template that would be common to every page. Now, every page in this website could have a title and also a footer. So those things would go inside the layout component and those things would then wrap every other page component that we have. So in order to create a layout component, we go to the routes folder, right click new file, and then it's underscore underscore, and then it's called layout.svelte. So these double underscores, they tell SvelteKit, look, this is not a normal page component. So you wouldn't go to forward slash layout in the address bar and hit enter to get a layout page. Instead, it says, okay, double underscore twice first. Now I know that this is a special layout component. So a layout component is pretty much the same as any other Svelte component. It contains a script, a template, and also some styles. So what I'm gonna do is create, first of all, a script just in case we need to do any logic in there or imports later on. And then down here, we're gonna do the template. So I'll do a header, first of all. And in fact, we're gonna have the title component inside the header. And we'll pass in a title prop. We'll set it equal to ninja gaming guides like so. Now, because we're using that title component, we have to import it at the top over here. So let's do that. Import title from lib or dollar sign lib rather forward slash title dot svelte. All right, so that's the header. And then we'll have a main tag. Now inside the main tag, this is where I want basically all of the page content to go, right? We'll come back to that in a minute though. Now down here at the bottom of every page will be a footer. And inside that we'll do a paragraph tag and I'll just say copyright 2022 ninja gaming guides like so. All right, so now this right here, this is where I want the page content to go. So if I go to forward slash, I get the index component dropped in here. If I go to forward slash about, I get the about component dropped in here. Now the way we do that inside SvelteKit is by just using a special tag called slot, not slowuta or saluta, slot. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let me just do this manually, slot, like so. And when SvelteKit sees this, it looks for the page component that we're currently at the address for. So if I was at forward slash about, it would look for the about component and it places it right here where the slot tag is, all right? So then that's pretty much it, but we do want some styles as well. And I'm just gonna paste those in at the bottom. So we say we have a header up here and we display that as flex. And then down here, we say justify content center. So everything should sit in the middle. And then down here, we say the main tag, max width, 960 pixels, margin, top and bottom, 20 pixels, auto left and right. That centralizes everything in the page to the middle. And then the footer, we say text align center. Awesome. So that, my friends, is pretty much it for now. Let's see what it looks like in the browser. Okay then, so in the browser, we now see two titles. <laughs> we see the one at the top, and this is coming from the layout component. And also we see the footer coming from the layout component. And this one here is because we also have the title component embedded into the individual pages. So right now we're on the about page. We see all the about content in the middle, which is where that slot tag was. So that's working at least, but we do see this title component again. We'll get rid of that in a second. If we go to the home component again, we see the layout is working. We have the title at the top. We have the main content in the middle where the slot would be. And then at the bottom, we have the footer. Awesome, so we just need to get rid of the extra title components, but also I wanna show you how we can add in some global styles as well. So then first things first, let's go to these other page components and get rid of the import right here for the title and we can get rid of the title there as well. Then in the about page, 
get rid of the import and get rid of the title component. All right, so now we shouldn't see those titles duplicated. Now, the other thing I wanted to quickly show you is how we add some global styles in here, because say, for example, I wanted to style the body tag. How would I do that? Well, I can't place a body selector in here because the body tag is not in this template. The body tag is actually just here, right? So what I could do is I could add the styles directly here if I wanted to in this page inside the head, or what I could do is I could create a global style sheet inside the source folder, and then that would be imported just at the top right here. And when it imports that style sheet, it's just gonna place those styles in the head of our document. So let me do this. Let me go to the source folder. I'm going to create a new folder called styles. You don't have to call it styles. You don't even have to put it in this folder. I'm going to do it just for organization. And then I'm going to create a new file called global.css. And then inside this global CSS file, we can place whatever CSS that we want. Now, I'm just going to go to my repo and I'm just going to copy all of these. Woohoo! So let me just copy them and paste them over here. Dead simple. We have an import at the top, which is for a Google font, and the family is this thing right here. Now, down here, we say the body has this purple background color, a margin of zero. Then we style the headings, the anchor tags, the paragraphs, and the LI tags. We give all of those this very light purple or pinky color. The font family is this thing that we just imported up here, so this one, and then the font weight is normal. So some dead simple global styles, right? Now in here, we can import those, and all we have to do is say import, and then where are they coming from? Well, currently we're inside the routes folder, so we need to come out of there, so I'll say dot dot forward slash to come out of the folder, then into the styles folder, and then we want the global.css file, and that's all we need to do. Nothing else needs doing with this now, and in fact, I need to get rid of that body at the bottom. So now, since we've imported these, this should all work, and these global styles should take effect in the web page. And voila, there we go. So now we can see this purple background, and everything looks a bit better. We've got this nice retro font going on. I said nice, it, it's not really that nice, but it does look retro for gaming. If we go to the about page, we can see all of the styles still take effect. And also we can see now we don't get that duplicate title on both of these pages as well. Now, by the way, if we go to the guides page, we're also getting this layout right here. We have the title at the top and we have the footer at the bottom. So this layout component that we created, it's actually being used on every single page component, even if those page components are nested in other folders like this one is right here, okay? Now, what if, we wanted this guides page right here or any other component, any page component inside the guides folder to maybe have a different layout. Well, we can do that using reset layouts and we're gonna talk about those in the next lesson.